here we have the Mego 2 XL robot. It's an um, 8 track uh, tape deck down in his belly here. So we've got these uh, eight, 8 track cartridges here, tapes. And um, the robot is uh, designed to play this tape and um, ask a series of questions in which you can answer by pressing uh, the buttons here. So we've got A, B and C buttons uh, with yes, more or no, true, info and false. Um, and so you're to um, answer the questions basically, you know, whether they're true or ye answer yes or no or false. Um, now I, you'll notice here also that the, um, if we have a close look at uh, the tape here, you'll notice that um, we've got a slightly different layout for the answers. So we've got the very left button here is true for, or A, false or B, yes or C, no or D. Now that doesn't quite uh, correlate to the front panel buttons here because um, from what I understand there is to, uh, an overlay that comes with the tape that's to be put over here and it um, it matches um, you know the labeling here so I don't have the overlay so I'm just going directly off these uh, buttons to correlate uh, these labels here okay so yeah he um, I, I think he's he's quite a cute little robot actually um, <laughs> he's got quite a a sort of a, a sad face in a way looks like he needs you know company and a friend so yeah I, I think he's quite cute um, so anyway the power supply is um, in the left front here and it's just a standard 3.5 millimeter or quarter inch audio jack type thing mono audio jack so uh, positive the tip here and negative and I've got my power supply uh, set to 9 volts there so plug it in and give you a wee demonstration so just plug that in the front there we've got on off here and volume okay So true, which is the very left button. You must be right because you are very bright, and the answer happens to be true. In fact, a rat can go for a longer period of time without water than a camel. True or false? Peanut butter and jellyfish sandwiches used to be eaten by George Washington. Wait, wait, hold everything. A quick check of my memory banks is in order. Before I give you the results of my memory check, I have decided to give you a joke. How do you keep a skunk from smelling? You hold its nose. <laughs> I can now tell you that the results of my memory check show that you were correct with that last question. You 
me there for the one about the rat and the camel. I wish you good luck this time, and I hope my joke put you in a better mood. <laughs> I bet to repeat the question quickly for you. Peter Byron's out of his senses. He's leaving George's time to please as a true or false. Now. I'll add to false. You must be one of those people with highly developed brain centers because you have answered false and you are correct. Either you knew George Washington personally and knew he could not eat peanut butter and jelly fish sandwiches or you guessed. Either one is acceptable to me. The bottom line is you have answered false and you are 100% correct. Okay, so, um, yeah, he's pretty cute and, um, yeah, it's it's neat. This this tape is um, called Believe This or Not. So, and, and there's actually two programs on here. So to to access the um, second set of programs, uh, we use these two here. So yes and no answers for these, which matches the uh, the labels here for yes and no here. Okay, so if I just start it back up on the um, we're on the program one here on this side has no ears, but, but if I through, click here we're into the second program part way through the tape it's probably waiting for an answer that's a flute I would say that is a yes, probably, so I'm going to leave it in the yes position. You have answered yes, and you are 100% correct. Okay. Queen Elizabeth had over 2,000 gowns and had a separate house built in order to have enough space to hang them all up. So an educational toy. Question number nine. As well. People in Mexico put their shoes on before their socks. Is this right or wrong? Please answer yes or no now. I'm going to leave that at yes, just to see uh, what happens in a, when you're incorrect. You have answered yes. I cannot believe that you believe this. How can any human being put their shoes on before their socks? It is impossible. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Question number 10. If you had a bagel, the best place to be would probably be Minnesota. Is this correct? Please answer yes or no now. I'll see if I can get a better view of the lights here. I'll have to turn the volume up so... I was... I detect you can see his eyes flashing there. In front of me. Yes, and you are correct. I'd like to tell you why you are correct though, because I do not think you know. You are correct, because Minnesota manufactures more butter than any other state in the United States. Therefore, more butter, better bagels. Question 11 at your And the brightness diminishes as the, um, the volumes turn down. So I've cracked the little guy apart here. And uh, let's take a wee look in the workings of it here. So the tape just sits in there like so. So you can see the mechanism here, this wheel is on top of the capstan which spins when the robot's turned on. Okay, and then if I click uh, a button, so at the moment the left button's depressed, if I now do the uh, next button to the right we get one click. So what that does is it turns this wheel by a quarter of a turn in an anti-clockwise direction and that moves the, um, the the read head down onto the tape. So there's, there's actually four positions. So if I go to the next button to the right, we go one more, and then one more, all right, 
and that's at its lowest position and if I go back to the very left hand button two, three, four, it just does one at a time so you can see the head moving there two, three, four, back to one now if I want to, I'll go to position two if I want to go back to one it has to do a series of um, turns, quarter turns, to return it uh, back up again and then down. So one, two, four. If I go back to three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. So that's quite an ingenious way of um, of doing that there. So on the, obviously on the bottom of this uh, is a cam that pushes uh, pushes the head down as it goes. Okay, and when this is turning, uh, this gets pulled down, and that engages, comes around and engages. On a little uh, little nipple there, and pushes one, two, three, back to the top. So yeah quite a nice little design it's very simple but very effective and up here is the inside of where the, the buttons are there a little control board here uh, amplifier is on here and um, here's the the back of his, his eyes here and the little on lamp here and a speaker so that's his, his guts so there, there's just a quick look at the um, the 2XL robot um, there's been uh, a bit of talk about it over on the uh, Amigos Retro Gaming uh, YouTube channel, so um, in the in the podcast there. So yeah, it's been mentioned a couple of times. So I thought I'd uh, get my one out and um, just do a quick uh, video on that. Uh, marketed between 1978 and 1981, this one, and there, there was a, a later model too that came out that used a uh, compact cassette instead of the 8-track tape player. Oh, speaker grill on the back there, 1978 Mego Corporation, made in Taiwan. Yeah, so that's quite a neat little little toy. I hope you like that video. Thanks for watching.